What's up class? Welcome to another fun lesson in the No Mod Shop class here on the School Zone. A while back I posted some videos on how to properly re-roof sanctuary houses and then how to re-floor them. In those videos, I mentioned that I was gonna do a follow-up video on how to re-wall the houses. That way they can finally be all fixed up and looking a lot better than they start out with. Now with mods, of course you can do anything. In fact, some of the mods will just straight up replace entire houses with brand new ones. But where's the challenge in that? So I'm gonna show you how to do this all without the need for mods. Now one of the reasons it took me a while to make this video is because I was trying to find a one size fits all formula that could work on every house. The problem is that almost every house and sanctuary is shaped slightly differently and each one has windows they may want to keep and all that. So instead what I decided to do is break this lesson down into two categories wall patching and then full rewalling. Every house is going to require a different configuration. So instead I'll just teach you guys the technique and just do an example on one of the houses and then you can use that to experiment on your own and repair all the houses you want. So let's start off with a little patchwork and I'm going to do that on this first house that I built up in the prequel videos. This is a great example because some of the walls have windows that I want to leave open and other areas I want fully enclosed. Oh, and the other reason it was difficult to crack was because I couldn't decide on the materials to use. It would have been so much easier if Bethesda had given us, you know, smooth, flat style metal walls with either yellow or blue paint. Since we don't have that though, wood is probably the next nicest thing to use. Unfortunately, if you want to have a roof like I have behind you here, you can't use the nice barn walls because they're taller than the standard ceiling height and they'll collide with the roof that you have in place or prevent you from putting one on if you want to add that later. So instead, we'll just resort to the basic wooden walls from the vanilla section. But that's okay, anything will look better than this Holy Rusted Metal Batman! Huh? <laughs> of course, you guys are free to make any recommendations in the After School Club below if you've found success with any of the other materials. Okay, so this was just an experiment I was going to try where I was going to uh, take two of the barn section walls and try to merge them together and see if I can completely patch up some of the walls so you'd see no bits of the rusty wall left behind on either side. But unfortunately, that's not going to work. So I'm just going to store these. And my game crashed. All right, be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm sure our collective fingers are crossed that they won't use the same engine as they did in Fallout 4 for uh, the next Elder Scrolls game or Fallout 5 if they eventually come out with that. But anyway, let's get this stuff stored. And I'm going to go ahead and store that. And what we're going to do is uh, just break out one of these walls from the wood section. There we go. And just to show you the difference... I don't know why they did this, to be honest. Like, take the barn section. See the difference in that? And these are, you know, even if you try to use the half walls, it's still, you know, somewhere in between. So, whatevs. <laughs> All right. Now, what we're going to do from here is we're going to pick an item that we can use to group select this shack wall, okay? Now, you can use like a rug, or I'm, I like to use the conduits, but you just want something that's gonna be flat on the ground and not sink in this case. So I'm just gonna attach a conduit right there. Good enough. I'll be able to scoot that back just a little bit. All right, and I'm gonna use this to group select the wooden wall. And then we're just going to do a little patchwork in here and just decide where it needs it, okay? Now, if you don't have anything else obstructing the area, then you should be able to find the place where it'll actually turn blue or whatever color you're using, green on your HUD, okay? And I'm actually going to slide this over to over here. Now, here's the part that's up to you. You can decide if you want to... Um, Let's see here. Yeah, you can decide if you want some of the wall showing through or if you want more of the wall on the outside showing through and more of the wooden part of the wall on the inside showing through. I might try to do a little bit of both, you know, like uh, have kind of a half and half, something like that. Let's see how that looks. All right, well, it ends up showing more on the inside, but that's okay. So that doesn't look too bad. And that is an example of patching the walls, okay? So what I could do is 
do another of the wooden walls here. And then for these window areas, you might want to just leave them, you know? There's not going to be really much that you can do to glitch in uh, things in here unless you want to try to use, like, shelves and counters and stuff. Which is a possibility. I didn't think about that until just now. So, let's give that a try. In fact, those things, unlike the walls, might even be able to be rug glitched in there. Alright, so let's check it out. Let's check it out. See what happens. Let's see here. Containers. Uh, something like this. Let's see if there's any nicer ones. Nope, that's probably gonna... gonna work. So, let's use one of these. Sweet! This might look pretty good, actually. Yeah, right on, right on. And what's cool about this is that you can still make adjustments afterwards. See how it's just sticking out a wee bit more on that side? It's pretty cool. You can actually uh, still make the adjustments. Just to even it out a little bit. And then let's see how far it drops down. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Let's see here. Oh yeah, that looks good. Might have pulled that in a little bit more, but you guys get the idea. And if you don't want it to sink down, then you can use the uh, stacking rug trick that I showed you in my Entertainment Center video. So this way, we still have the windows that are open, and you might be able to replace those windows with actual windows. Let's see if I can do this. Those are going to be from the... Uh, vault tech section. Once again, I'm improv in here, so let's see if it works. Doors. Yeah, windows. Well, let, let's see um, how much of this would cover before we bother to pillar glitch that in there. Okay, it looks like it's not letting me, like, just float it in the air so I can see. There we go. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's not going to really cover the whole window there. But, um, yeah, if you, you know, if you don't mind it not covering the whole window, then you could uh, give that a try. And at least there'd be some glass over the wall. And you do that just using uh, the pillar and the conduit. All right. If I can think of another glass piece that was just a little bit bigger than that. See, the ones from the, the half ones from the barn section, like these, are just, they just cover too much up and they don't, they don't look good to me, you know, so that would sort of defeat the purpose of them. Yeah. But anyway, that's uh, category one. You would just go around and just patch up the areas that you like, like I would patch up that back wall, perhaps. Let's take a look. Yeah, I would patch up this wall here since that is already, you know, blocked off. Or I might do something creative with that since that's just a tiny hole. You know, I might be able to uh, put like some kind of drink. What do you call those? Those drink mixers where the conduit is sticking out of the back. And then I could have the conduit part sticking out of the back and looking like a fuse box and then attach it underground or with, you know, the Wi-Fi glitch to a power source, you know. But I probably would want to patch this part up, and I would do that using uh, the same method that I did over here. Okay? So, now, here's category number two. <laughs> Let me get rid of this glass here. Okay, category number two is fully rewalling, okay? And then for this, what you're going to need to do is calculate the amount of space, the amount of squares that you're going to need to fill in. And what I'm going to do is do it on this house right here okay now this still is even a little bit oddly shaped because it's got this um you know like foot foot and a half or so bay window 
and it's got this cutout right here. But I went in and sort of measured the amount of squares and I just left this because there's not a no mods oven equivalent that looks like that. So I just left that in there. But everything else is removed from the floor that can be removed. And what we're going to try to do is rewall and refloor this house all at the same time. Because if we refloor it, then our only option would be to patch it. We couldn't fully cover all the walls at once. And if we fully cover all the walls at once, then we wouldn't be able to refloor it at the same time. So if we do them both at once, then you can come pretty close. Now it's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be quite a difference. And by the way, once we get the walls and the floors in place, then you can pillar glitch in a roof because that's just gonna sit on top of everything and it shouldn't interfere with any problems there. Now, the way that I did this, first of all, I used the uh, nicer warehouse wooden floors, but then I had to use the wooden walls from the vanilla section so that they didn't stick up too high and that you could use the roofs that I showed you in the re-roofing video. Now, here's how I cracked the code. Oh, and before I show you that, I did have to add in some half floors here so that it would fit and there's not really a half wall that snaps there is a half wall that i could pillar glitch in there but i'm just not going to bother with it because it's not going to make too much of a difference so if you want to get the basic configuration for this one house right here like i said they're all going to be different but this one house right here that you're probably familiar with then the dimensions are going to be two by five i think one two three well four wait one two here let me turn on uh workshop okay one two three four okay so two by four here and then on this side one two three and then a set of half floors got it okay so here's how i cracked the code all right it took me forever to figure this out but I used the stairs rug technique that I showed you guys in my junk fence video. And this technique finally worked, all right? After trying a whole bunch of different other different methods, okay? Now, if you haven't seen that video, it's definitely worth checking out. But if you haven't seen that video, you get one of these stairs that sticks out far away from what you're trying to do and doesn't interfere with any of the collision boxes of the house that you're trying to... Uh, glitch this wall floor combination in with, and then you use a rug as a way to sort of anchor it to the next object, okay? So what it's gonna do is it's going to, the rug is selecting this entire thing, but the stairs are just focusing on the rug, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. It would have been better if I had this on more even ground. I might have just tried to build this way out here, but I don't think it's gonna make too much of a difference that it's on an incline, okay? So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to refocus the selection on the stairs and let's see if I can do this <laughs> without any hurdles. Okay. Cause I, it worked in the test. All right. So here we go. I'm going to group select the stairs, which is going to then grab the rug, which is then attached to everything else here. And I'm going to just push it forward a little bit so I can see. And what I'm going to do here is try to get this lined up so that we've got good coverage on all sides. Now, as you can see, it's already turning blue, so you know it's gonna work. From here, it's just a matter of fine tuning it, okay? Since I don't have anything placed in the house yet, I can still make some fine tune adjustments, all right? But I'm gonna try to get this right on the first go round. <laughs> we'll see how successful I am. Okay, now, if you can barely see past that uh, carport post there, there's no floor yet. So once you get it into the position that you want it to be in as far as the walls go, then you can raise this up just enough so that the floor starts to peek through. All right, now unfortunately, it's not gonna cover all the junk because we are trying to do this all in one fell swoop, but you can come pretty close and it's, it's awesome that it worked out. Okay, so let's take a look. All right, that side looks awesome. That side looks awesome. Okay, I was a little short on this side, but that's okay, you know, it doesn't look terrible. 
this looks good. Yeah, and there's nothing... I, I mean, if you want to, you can take this piece of the wall out. But the problem is, is that it's like half of this wall and like half of that wall. So, yeah, I don't know what you could do. Maybe you could put like a sign or a painting in there and make it look good. But anyway, the floor is in here now. Now, there's going to be a lot of junk that's kind of peeking through the floor. And it's not going to be quite as perfect as the reflooring video that I did where we only just put in the floor. Um, in fact, this room is the worst, but this could probably be covered by a rug. I mean, who knows? Maybe you could even add some more floors on top of it. Uh, let me see if that's even possible. Oh, I'm going to do some real quick. You have these little half floors here. Maybe if I can jimmy one into the corner, then it'll snap to the rest of the... Okay, there we go. That'll work. See, now I can do things like put dressers and cabinets in this little space down here. And uh, it'll, you know, fill in that gap. I can do things like, you know, put the bed up against this wall to cover all that junk. Yeah, so that worked out just fine. Anyway, so yeah, you guys get the idea there. Okay, perfect timing because it's raining now. <laughs> and I didn't want to have to do this all over again. But yeah, that is how you do it. Now, if you're wondering how you get doors in here, I actually already showed that in my combination rug glitch, pillar glitch video. So I'll link that below. Definitely check that video out. That's going to explain to you how to put doors into uh, houses that don't have doors. So I didn't want to repeat myself because uh, some people worry my videos are too long. But uh, hopefully that explains it, you know, and that worked out really well. That's basically going to do it for this video. Now, I hope some of these tips helped you and you can use these techniques in your own way to spruce up good old sanctuary. Be sure to hit that notification bell to be alerted for more cool videos like this. Oh, and share this video around and smash that like button. Always helps. I'll see you next time on The School Zone. Happy building and class dismissed.